Welcome back again. In the last episode, we have seen what is indenting. Now, in this episode, we'll see, or uh, this session, we'll see that why this and how this indenting business is lucrative, right? So, indenting business is very lucrative. Why? It is a basically a sophisticated business. The craze of foreign products is there in every home country. Imports have been happening for the production of the another product and then value addition and then again export. So it is a re-export. So what you are offering to the, your home country, to the buyers, the best of the product and the affordable price and these products can be incorporated into making some another product and there is a value addition and uh, more value products have been exported. So it is for doing the re-export. Normally the import channels are set. Of course the export channels are also set. But export has to do lot of lot of things together and which has to be incorporated as per the country now. But same way when exporter is offering and if he is a world class already the set things are there and these products are repeatedly coming to India in huge quantities. So we will say that the import channels for those countries and those suppliers and those products are set. So they know like from Germany you know the machineries will come, from Japan high tech or the vehicles uh, will come or from America, you know, uh, the uh, California elements will come or like uh, like that, you know, the different countries will have a different supply sources. Like from India, if it is exported, mangoes can go as a fruit or iron ore can go or any other minerals can go, copper can go or Malaysia can also give the copper or maybe Chile can give another deposit, geological deposit products. So it is, it is like that. So this is uh, very, very important and lucrative that this business will happen due to buy and sell or the consumption or the, where there is a uh, surplus, they will export from outside and if it is a scarce commodity here in your home country, the import will happen. Moreover, very important thing is this kind of business of imports, you know, always we are talking in any country, export, export, export. But if your imports are coming for the raw material or uh, uh, inputs into the cheaper price and the better quality due to geological deposits or the expertise or the technology or the catalyst or for the invention, so you will get a better product, branded products and you can churn out into another new value added product and you can supply to the re-export again. This is not so far targeted business. So what happens in terms of India, if you see few years back, our imports were 600 billion. Can you imagine 600 billion is import? That's how much into the rupee terms, 600 billion with 600 multiplied by 100 rupees crores and then multiply by 75. So it will become in terms of rupees 45 lakh crore. So this kind of expense of this huge expense of this business, if you only consider the imports, or the basic definition wise identity, import sourcing. So this is 16,000 crore rupees market or 600 billion dollars market. Why all these things, you know, so huge market? Because India is a big country. We have uh, currently 135 billion people over here and the strata of the youngsters and the young people are more. So what happened? The intake and consumption is very often. You know, because they are the they are the people making the economy or per capita income growing. So GDP, they are contributing more onto the GDP of the country. So this is happening because of we require a lot of uh, energy. So crude oil or it is petroleum products, and petrochemical products and commodities to eat and you know all kind of uh, commodity rice and uh, you know wheat and uh, any anything pulses. So all kinds of uh, products are required. Uh, fruits and vegetables, it is coming for so many countries. The technologies, the electronic, mobile phones, and LCDs and LEDs and machineries. And import, first you are importing into your home country and once, you know, uh, like you, you, you feel saturated that we are going into the similar market. But like India has, suppose, the 30 states, so it is like a, you know, uh, a 30 countries. If you compare it to the other uh, European, uh, all others, uh, suppose they have 25, 30 countries as a European Union, but India has 30, more than 30 states. So this is like a 30 countries nation or is a, it's itself a continent. So such a huge, you know, 
potential in the home country. So if you are remaining in your home country and if the population is big and uh, you know there are developing country or a developed country, then they have a huge consumption over there. So this is what is the very important uh, you know aspect of this. And because you can earn by giving your consulting or the resource fullness uh, to your home country buyers and you can earn a lot, right? So this is why uh, indenting is very lucrative. Uh, we have covered in this session now, uh, which is an extension of what is indenting and how it is lucrative. Now into the next session, we will see that uh, what, are the, what are the benefits of this international indenting business. Thank you so much. Thanks.